Hello BookTube! Today I'm going to be doing the Christmas Evil tag. This tag is associated by a readathon that is currently making the rounds on BookTube, and the hosts and creators of this tag are Slime and Slashers, Katrina Brown, Fiber Artsy, Michelle's Melancholia, Kelly Hooked, and Kelly Hooked on Books. And I will leave links to all of their channels in the show notes down below. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So there are two parts of this tag. There are the non-evil questions that are called the Christmas Angel and then the Christmas Devil, which are the evil questions. So let's get going. Uh, the first up, uh, Christmas Angel questions, the non-evil ones. Tinsel, name a book with a beautiful cover. For this, I'm going to go with um, the cover of Larvae of the Nearest Stars by Catherine W. Carter. This is a slim volume of poetry out from LSU, and it is, I just, I love this cover. Um, the cover really drew me to the book, and I'm very happy to say the book is just as good. Um, Catherine W. Carter has become one of my favorite poets. Uh, question number two, or prompt number two. Holiday Lights. Name a book that has brightened your mood. For this, I'm going to go with a work of manga, uh, One Punch Man by One and Yusuke Murata. This is a superhero-inspired uh, manga series about a man who wants to be a superhero, and he has trained himself to such an extent that he can defeat any opponent with just one punch. Um, I read this volume last week, and I needed it. I had a spectacularly bad um, reading weekend, and reading week, and um, largely because I've devoted a good chunk of my December uh, readings to Bill Redemptions. I bill re really heavily, and I'm not always satisfied with that, so I will come back to many of the books that I have belled on, what I call Bell Redemptions, and sometimes those Bell Redemptions may take a few goes um, before either I achieve a Bell Redemption or I finally give up and say this book is most certainly not for me. Um, so, at the time I read this, it was, well, I don't remember exact numbers, but for that week it was like one bell redemption to five bell redemption rejections. So, yeah, I really needed One Punch Man and Demon Slayer, but I decided to just show uh, One Punch Man. <sighs> the star atop the tree. What author has been a star, a favorite, or a hit for you this year? For this, I'm going to go with um, Ida Eero. Um, Ida Eero are the authors or mangaka of Atolabam Hanako-kun, which is a manga series that I, I, I first encountered last year, but I've been collecting the series this year, and I've pretty much picked up all volumes this year and I've been reading them and loving them and I just absolutely adore this series and quite curious to see um, what else Idero have um, out but definitely yeah Idero has been a hit with me and a favorite this year. Now on to the Christmas Devil questions. The Grinch Name an antagonist from a book or movie that you love to hate. This was really difficult because love to hate, which is you enjoy hating the character. But the problem is, is that I don't know really if there is an antagonist that I have that relationship with. Um, so I'm going to kind of flip this question a bit, or prompt a bit, and 
I'm going to go with Paul Atreides from Dune by Frank Herbert. Um, Dune is a seminal uh, work of science fiction and space opera. It's about um, a far future um, empire ruled by an emperor and um, planetary noble houses um, who are often feuding. The most important planet in this universe is Arrakis, which is the source of a um, spice that allows for various superhuman um, abilities. For generations, the House Harkonnen has ruled Arrakis. But the Emperor has decided that um, House Atreides, a longtime rival of the Harkonnens, and distantly related to the Imperial House will um, take over Arrakis. Um, and this gift is, in fact, a trap. Um, at a certain point, um, House Harkonnen, supplemented by uh, several detachments of the Emperor's own troops, will return to Arrakis and displace the Atreides. Um, this works, the Atreides are defeated, but um, the young, uh, Duke, now Duke, Paul Atreides and his mother, the Lady Jessica, manage to escape and flee into the desert and find refuge with the Fremen. Um, and while in most cases, Paul would then go into, would pretty much fade from history, Paul Atreides is the culmination of millennia of reading. Um, Paul Atreides develops the ability to um, see into the future, basically what um, the guild navigators who basically uh, pilot uh, starships can do to avoid uh, dangers. Since in this universe, um, uh, mo powerful computers that would use this are forbidden. So, Paul Atreides develops his superpowers, um, takes over the Fremen, and launches a rebellion against the Empire and eventually wins. And while Paul Atreides is the main, the main protagonist of Dune, I love to hate him. I just, I, I hate him. <laughs> just, yeah. I just hate Paul Atreides so much. <laughs> So, I love to hate him, and he may not necessarily be the main antagonist, but he sure is hell a villain. Um, because, I mean, yes, the Emperor and Baron Harkonnen are horrible people and who have done horrible things, but neither one of them are guilty of the murder of billions of people. So, anyway. Um, Krampus. Which book, which book, booktuber, author, or character needs to be visited by Krampus? For this, I'm going with a publisher, actually. Um, Reaction Books needs a visit from Krampus because some of their animal uh, series, the books in their animal series, which is a series of books that look at um, various animals, uh, some of them are really, really terrible. There are some that are really good, but there are some that are just really terrible. And quite frankly, Krampus needs to um, disabuse him of the notion that the um, animal books that are, for all intents and purposes, literary criticism or, or cultural criticism are any good and were ever a good idea. So there. Um, breaking the rules. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What's the worst gift you've ever received? Um, I would say the worst gift I've ever received was last year when I got, um, a, uh, security camera, the doorbell security camera thing. Um, and I'm like, why did you give this to me? Um, 
I mean, particularly without offering to set it up because I don't know how to put it together. I'd probably blow the apartment up if I tried to put it in there. Like, what were you thinking? Anyway, um, holi no holiday cheer here. Only a holiday fear. Share your scariest holiday memory. Do I have a scary holiday memory? Mm. I don't think I do have a particularly scary holiday memory. Um, I guess maybe uh, the nearest I could come is... Um, I don't know exactly what holiday it was, but we were going to my grandparents um, in East Texas for a holiday. Probably would either have been um, like Easter or Thanksgiving or um, their wedding anniversary. Um, and... There's around their house, their farmstead, uh, because at the time my grandparents were very big on um, agriculture and they had a small little ranch. And near their house, uh, there was a bridge that went over like a gorge. That every time I we went over that bridge, I just it freaked me out. And near, I think actually next door, there was a small cemetery. Um, like whenever I went, which was very rare, I think it kind of freaked me out too. So I'll go with that. Um, the candy corn of Christmas eggnog. Love it or hate it? I don't think I've ever actually had eggnog. Or if I did, it might have been so long ago that I don't remember. So, it's effectively, I've never had eggnog. Um, if you don't like eggnog, what's a holiday treat or beverage that you enjoy? Um, for this, it would be um, my family's, uh, one of my family's go-to um, holiday desserts, which is Four Layer Delight. It's a trifle that has a, uh, a pecan a crust and then a uh, layer of uh, cream cheese and a whipped cream and then a layer of a uh, mix of vanilla and chocolate pudding uh, topped by a layer of whipped cream. Um, this uh, dessert has been uh, part of my family's culinary repertoire for decades and I love it. Um, Ugly Christmas Sweater. Name a book that was so bad it was good. Um, this prompt gave me a lot of trouble. I think I'm going to punt on it because I can't think of a book that was so bad it was good. Because I usually don't have much in the way of tolerance for that it's it's bad and it will remain bad. Uh, mistletoe, uh, mistletoe hell. Name a fictional character you'd hate to meet under the mistletoe. James Bond. Um, not only because he would likely kill me after we kiss, but I mean he is also, as Steve Donny he would say, third stage guild navigator level of tobacco addict. Um, I think he's probably a hundred pack a day tobacco addict. It's like, no, stay away from me. Uh, next prompt. Cool and, no, coal and socks. My eyesight is horrendous, <laughs> by the way. Um, what's an unpopular or lame gift that you wouldn't mind receiving? For this, I'm going to go with gift cards. I love getting gift cards because it lets me basically pick my own gifts out. Which, yeah. 
I mean, particularly since they would be books, and um, most of my family don't particularly like getting me books, so it's like gift cards work wonderfully. So anyway, that was the um, evil Christmas tag, or is it Christmas? Yeah. Oh, the Christmas evil tag. Yes. So if you like to do this tag, consider yourselves tagged. I may or may not have another tag video or another video later this evening. I don't quite know for sure. Uh, tomorrow, I will, depending on circumstances, do either a very early weekly read, another tag video, or something, and then, again, as circumstances dictate, do a weekly read on Friday, um, either in the early afternoon or um, evening, depending on how things turn out um it's yeah i mean well things will probably likely be okay and i don't think there's any oh uh, concerns about a rolling blackouts um as there were almost two years ago but just being cautious because um that yeah because i don't want to necessarily be blindsided or miss uh weekly reads Although, also, it's one of the issues is that I've spent most of this week on one book. Um, I will finish it today. I have about 50 pages left, so I will finish it today. So I'll likely start on another book tomorrow. And then, depending how that goes, I guess, um, whether or not I should just go ahead and do weekly reads tomorrow or wait till Friday. Um, anyway, booktube, I'm starting to ramble, so I will see you either later this evening with another video or tomorrow. So until then, thank you, have a great afternoon, stay safe and stay warm, and yeah.